you i want to roll with you yeah rocking and rolling and yes what's up mike my name is mm, and i have been trying to figure out where to contact you so i could ask you a question that i think would make a half decent topic for one of your videos so i'll just try your facebook okay here it goes Suppose I didn't have to read any of that. There's a girl at work that I've met recently that I've gotten close with. We always go out of our way to work with each other and we always end up having these deep conversations about ourselves. From the way we've been interacting, you'd think we were into each other. I'm very much into her. One day the topic of our dating lives came up and I've come to the shocking revelation that she has a boyfriend. In Canada, fucking Canada, we live in the US. Why is it a shocking revelation that a cool girl has a boyfriend? Just so we're on the same page, and I'm not sure if I have to say this out loud, but you know that sometimes people could just be friends. She has a boyfriend in Canada. Yeah, man, fuck that guy for meeting her first and getting to know her, proving himself trustworthy enough to enter into a consensual relationship with her, huh? What a dick. Sometimes the interesting people are already in relationships. It's weirder when they're not. So why is it shocking that she has a boyfriend? Number one, she initiated the conversation in the first place by asking me if I was single, which usually implies that she is asking because she likes me and wants to date me herself. Yeah, sometimes. And sometimes friends just ask each other questions. I know whether or not 99% of my friends are single and I don't want to sleep with any of them. Uh, number two, I really like this girl and I would very much love to date her. I get that. But just because you're single doesn't mean that she has to be. Also, she's not the only girl in the world, which is easy to miss if you're hung up on some girl with a Canadian boyfriend. And three, fucking Canada. Yeah, man. Sometimes people live in Canada. Have you ever been to Canada? Hey, here's a fun activity. How about you go to visit? Toronto, Canada, and I hope that you fall in love with somebody, and then I hope that you stay together, and that I'm going to make you read this letter to her out loud, and I'm going to laugh as she cross-checks your ass back into the United States. Don't let your brain fool you into thinking that the world is much smaller than it actually is. Go meet people outside of work and have new experiences and do shit and you'll, things will be different. Talk to people you've never talked to. It doesn't make any sense to say the one and only girl who exists for me and is perfect for me is perfect in every way except for the fact that she's dating this one fucking Canadian guy. Fuck. Let her live her life. She's le she's leading by example. Have you ever met someone who is damn near perfect, brought the best out of you, and made you genuinely happy only to be napalmed by the I have a boyfriend bomb? Napalmed by the I have a boyfriend bomb is the most dramatic thing I've read since The Fault in Our Stars. I used to work at a TV network and there was a girl there who I thought was absolutely stunning and we became friends and eventually I asked her out and then she said that she had just become somebody's fiance and now sometimes she pops up on my Instagram feed and I struggle to remember her first name and now I have a fiance and I make my living as a comedian and my life is awesome and I'd say things worked out pretty well. I don't know whether I should tell her about my feelings or not because I don't want to risk losing the relationship that I currently have with her. She sees this guy like four times a year and she seems very faithful. Good. That's a good, yeah. She seems like a really nice person. Also, never tell her that you use the phrase napalmed by the I have a boyfriend bomb ever because I guarantee there will be no further conversations. Here's, here's my last thing. Imagine that you are this Canadian guy. How would you feel about this situation? Then imagine that you're you again and never say the phrase napalmed by the I have a boyfriend bomb. You're good, man. You're gonna be all right. Just don't fall into this, oh, she's the only one for me, she's uh, the only uh, good one that there is and she's taken and the only good one's taken trap. That all these hopeless ro young romantics fall into, because it doesn't exist. Go out, meet new people, don't put that much pressure on the situation, breathe it out. You're gonna be fine. Hey everybody, it's me, Mike Falzone, I'm still on tour and I have no idea where I am.